Hey y'all, it's me Tay, and today I'm going to bring you my June favorites. Now this is going to be a beauty haul, so it's going to be all my favorite beauty items that I'm using here now in the month of June. Since June is coming to an end, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys my June favorites. We're going to start off with ColourPop. Now I love me some ColourPop. It's nothing like a matte lip pretty and it's you know black girl friendly for us pretty brown girls um we're gonna start off with limbo limbo i have this one on my lips right now and i'm in love with limbo whenever i want like a dark lip i always reach for limbo because limbo never lets me down never fails me i just love limbo Mwah. like limbo is bae then i reach for a tool Tool comes second. Whenever I'm wearing like a pinkish or I want like a, a light lip, I reach for a tool. Tool is bait as well. Then Rooch. Rooch Rooch is just so pretty. Let me swatch these for you. I don't have to do um limbo because I already have it on. Let me swatch tool for y'all. As you can see. That's what it looks like on the applicator. Swatch it. See how pretty it is? It is women of color friendly. Then I will reach for, like I said, Rooch. And this is Karuchi's line. If you don't know who Karuchi is, it's Chris Brown, ex-girlfriend. She has a line with ColourPop. And this is a pretty color, y'all. Look at that. That's Rooch. Another one that is women of color friendly. And then I'll reach for Teeny Tiny. And Teeny Tiny is kind of like a purple. Like a pale purple. Let's see. So we have pink. Like a pinkish, a dark red, burgundy, and then something like a a purple. And it is all women of color friendly. I love them. And they dry matte. And I'm saying matte. Like when you touch your lip, they would not come off. So. Now we're going to move along to Family Dollar. Now I was in Family Dollar and I picked up um, two LA Colors. Um... For your lips and i fell in love with them i just thought it was gonna be something cheap you know let me go ahead and pick this up just when i need a gloss so y'all see this gloss i don't know if y'all can see this do you see it this is a beautiful gloss let me swatch that for y'all too it has a little short applicator Watch that right here in front of tool. Just a, a real thick like gloss. You can see the colors in it. So if you need your really nice gloss, family dollar. And they also have this um they call it pout lip gloss matte by LA Colors. And this is in the color. I don't think it have a color but if it has a color i don't know because you see the little label is torn off so i never did get a color but it's like a pink and like the gloss it has a little short applicator and i'll put it right in front of the gloss and that is like your typical barbie pink but it looks really good on women of color then I went over to um, Dollar General, and I just happened to see this gloss, so I decided to get it. It is called Snuggle. I'm not sure who the name brand is, but the name of it is Snuggle. So, if y'all see these that look like this in this little tube, then grab the one for the brown top that says Snuggle. 
Now this will make your nudes pop like yes. Y'all see that? If this was a highlighter, I would be in love. But I don't know if it's giving it to y'all the way it, it should. Let me swatch it one more time across the top. Do y'all see that? This is a pretty. So most of the time, I feel like it's too light to coat my entire lip with it. So if I'm doing a full gloss like this one, then I can put like two dabs of this. So it doesn't take a, a lot. A little goes a long way. Or if I'm wearing like a, um, a color, I still will just put a dot at the bottom and a dot at the top. And then I will pop my lips like that. And I'm telling y'all, pretty, pretty. Next, we're going to move on to NYX. N-Y-X, NYX, whatever you prefer to call it. Some people call it different. I picked up two of the suede, um, the liquid suede lipsticks. And I love them. This is my exact nude color i could never find a nude color that fit me where it looks like i have nothing on my lips until i picked up um i think this is called soft, soft spoken i'm not sure which one is the nude for me yep it's a soft spoken y'all see it it's right on top of snuggle so when i'm going for a nude lip when i got a bold eye and I just want a nude lip. I will reach for these um, NYX liquid suede lipsticks. And this one is in um, Sandstorm. So we're going to put Sandstorm on top of Soft Spoken. Sandstorm is pretty as well. So this one is Soft Spoken. And this one is Sandstorm. And thereby, NYX. As you can see, my color pop is starting to dry. And as you can see, the Family Dollar is starting to dry as well. So it doesn't take long for the Family Dollar, mm, family, dollar family Dollar to dry either. And my NYX are starting to dry as well. So all of those are our liquid lipsticks. I'm really into the liquid lipsticks right now i don't want anything shining because i just feel like the matte lip just make your makeup come together and just look so much better i just love matte okay now let's move on to primers my favorite go-to primers that i tend to reach for right now one is baby skin now i prime my face today with baby skin and baby skin just make your it will make your foundation go on like flawless it gives it a flawless finish so i got my baby skin from target most of my um, makeup i will get from target i choose target over walmart so target is bay then i know y'all knew y'all knew it i was gonna say this nivea post balm now this stuff right here is the truth at first i was just like i'm not trying that i'm not trying that then i seen it more and seen it more and seen it more so i said let me try it for myself now the first time i ever tried this i hated it because it made me so oily and my skin is very oily and it just made me so oily but i tried it again and so when i tried it again I let it dry on my face before I applied my foundation and I always use liquid foundation so I let it dry so the key to this is let it dry and then you pat your face and when you feel your hands like starting to um, you got like a sticky feel on your face that's when you can apply your liquid foundation and this stuff will keep you matte all day with little to no touch up of course, you know, if you're very oily, you're going to have to blot it every now and again. And I also like e.l.f., the Poreless Face Primer. Now, I will reach for this in a minute. 
this is bay two. Most people, they don't like the e.l.f. primers, but it tends to work for me. And I'm telling y'all, I have oily skin, and this really works for me, where I could be matte. As long as I have me a good setting powder, this will work. And speaking of setting powder, let's move on to setting powder. My favorite setting powder is this Airspawn. And I will also reach for this Master Fix Face Studio by Maybelline um, translucent powder as well. So these two is Bay. And my Airspawn is in the color Honey Beige. So most people, women of color anyway, don't know that they give you an option of the regular translucent powder in the color which is honey beige and it's just like a a little tint to it a little beige tint and this one right here is just straight white so i would not um recommend baking with this this is just something that you just dab on and quickly sweep off you know just to soak up the oil but this one right here i will um bake with this one and when I'm saying baking, I'm not saying like a whole five minute bake, maybe two, maybe one. Just bake for a little while because, you know, you don't need to bake that long. We're not chicken. Now, we're going to move on to mascara. Now, my favorite go-to mascara are these babies. We're going to start off with the one that I love to use on my lower lash. And my lower lashes... <clears throat> Excuse me. I love to use this elf. Now this elf, I love to use this on my lower lashes because of the applicator. I don't know if y'all can see this. You see how small it is and skinny? So it allows you to just be able to reach a bun hair and just grab all the hair that you have in your lower lashes. And for my top lashes, I will use this. Who is this by? L'Oreal, the Miss Manga. And it's waterproof. And also the um, Elf is waterproof as well. Okay, and Since we're talking about mascara, I will get these too. So sometimes when you just want a different um, applicator for different things, if you want your lashes to look longer, if you want your lashes to, I mean, it just depends on how you want your lashes. This is an option to go and get the actual applicators and you just stick it inside whatever mascara you want to use and Depending on which one you want to get, I'm going to tell y'all, we have the one that curls. We have the one that will give you volume. It will volumize. Then we have the one that will define your lashes. And then we have the ones that will give you length. So, if you find a curl one, it will curl your lashes. This one will make your lashes look fuller than what they are. This one right here will define them. And this one right here will make your lashes look longer. So those are the difference between the way that your applicator look. So you can go get you some wands. And this is by the Creme Shop and it's called Wonderland. And you get 12 of these. And, of course, you can throw them away. There's an option for you. Let's move on to makeup wipes. Now, my favorite makeup wipes of June were these body prescription makeup wipes. Now, they're all gone. Can't find them unless I order some offline. Um, I'm going to have to find these online. If I find these online, I will put a link down below. But I got these from TJ Maxx for only $3.99. And they come individually wrapped. So 
that was very convenient. Just pop them in my purse. If I'm out, it's hot. I get the sweat and pull it out, open it up, and just wipe it all off. I'm trying to see if I have a packet. I found a packet. So it comes individually wrapped just like this out of here. And you just tear it open. Get your makeup wipe out. Mm, white. Get your makeup wipe out and just wipe your face. And with one towelette, it will wipe all the makeup off of your face but of course i use two just to make sure it's all off and then i wash my face and everything but one goes a long way and i love these so if you ever go to target marshall's um i can't think of no more stores um any more stores that is like target or marshall's if you name some put them down below so you can tell the people so i guess ross target let me get it together. Ross Marshalls or um, TJ Maxx. You can find these. So it's the Body Prescription Makeup Removing Wipes. And it says, gently wipes tissues over eyelids, lashes, face, and lips to remove makeup and clean skin. Then on the front, it says mascara, lipstick, powders, liquids, one wipe to remove them all. They're very convenient. Like I said, you can take these anywhere, and the packaging is very pretty. Since we're still talking about makeup wipes, I'm going to show you my second go-to that I will grab for. And this is the Live Green Mineral Wipes, and this is the Dead Sea ones. And you know, the Dead Sea facial wash is very good for your face. So they even have wipes. And these wipes cost $3.99. And they're in this pretty black and gray white packaging. I haven't opened these. So luckily I can still show y'all. And 60 wipes comes in here. And it has aloe in these as well. So you know, this is very good for your skin. So while taking off your makeup, it will actually moisturize and purify your complexion so these are actually good as well and then i will reach for you know your regular baby wipes the sensitive um the sensitive skin or sensitive um, ones i'll reach for those those do a great job or just using a rag and my um peppermint soap that will give all your makeup off or even the um what is it called noxzema and my rag that will get your makeup off as well if you don't have any of the other things and sometimes my mascara is very hard to come off so i will rub coconut oil on it and coconut oil will take it right off speaking of eyelashes let's move into my favorite eyelashes of june and yes it's the eyelashes i have on right now i don't know if you can tell that i have on eyelashes i'm coming a little closer and these are so natural that's why i tend to reach for these i just grabbed these because they was on sale at walmart and i actually like them they are demi wispies by salon perfect and it has five pair in this um package Now these are bay. And like I said again, I'll show y'all. And the number, do they have a number? Nope. They don't have a number. It just says Demi Wispies. Now look for this black pack with the pink writing that says Salon Perfect. Now these are some nice eyelashes, as you can see. Yes, to those eyelashes. Now, I have more, but I can't say that they're my favorite. They're my favorite looking at them with other people have them on. But as far as like me wearing them, I haven't worn them yet. So, I'm not really going to show them in this video. Just know, check out Lynn Lashes. They have some great lashes over there. Um, Then, let's get into concealer my favorite concealer right now is the maybelline fit me in cafe which is number 30 and i heard that this was a dupe for the nars concealer 
But I love this concealer. It's my go-to, it's my favorite. And it comes in the same tube as the NARS concealer. Love this stuff. And then I went over and tried um, this L'Oreal Visible Lift, the Blair, Blur Concealer. It's okay, but this is too light for me. So what I would do is conceal my face before I actually put on my liquid foundation. And then I don't have to conceal it on the outside. So this is my go-to as well. I will reach for that. And then my all-time go-to... My go-to foundation for June will be this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the color Mocha 360 or in the color Coconut 355. And sometimes I will mix these two together. And let's see if you can see. As you can see, it's not much of a color difference between it. So, if I don't have a tan, I will reach for the coconut. But if I go out in the sun for a day and be out in the sun all day, the next day if I have to put on makeup, I will reach for the mocha. So, if you're my complexion, you will need both of these both of these because now that it's summertime you know the heat it will in the sun it will cook you so you know you will get a tan back up if you got your tan if you haven't been outside you're just going to a little wedding or to a restaurant on a date you don't have a tan you can get your coconut but also reach for the mocha as well or if you're lighter than me get the cappuccino and then the coconut I do believe and then another favorite is this L'Oreal true match in the color C8 cocoa it won't focus y'all so this is a very pretty color as well and as you can see let me match it up with my other foundations They're all in the same color family. I feel like the coconut and the cocoa look the exact same rather than that look the same too. So like I said, they're all in the same family. You can blend all three if you want to. Sometimes I will blend all three and it's still my... It's still my perfect shade. On to eyeshadows. My favorite eyeshadows in June will be this Metal Mania from Coastal Sense. And I will show y'all. It has 88 colors in here. So any color you can think of is actually in this palette. And this is a go-to one because of all the different colors it has. And then I also got some of the individual ones. Call them lash. I mean, um, eyeshadow pots. I think I do believe that's what it's called. So this one is it's just a gold one. As you can see, it's pretty gold, and it's called 18 Karat Gold. And these are two by Coastal Scents. Then I have two brown ones. Most of the time, I use these in my creases. Especially this one because it's darker and this one is called chocolate or chocolate here and this one is called barista okay <clears throat> another palette that's my go-to is this in the nude and these are dupes for the naked palette I don't know if it's the naked two three I know it's a naked dude, nude. I say dude. <laughs> and these are just like neutral colors. Nude like colors. I don't know if y'all can see it that good because of my light. But it has the pinks and the pale purples. I love this palette. 
and the cut the pigmentation of it is very good and also this urban decay palette and this is the shadow box one i will show y'all the colors pretty packaging here's the colors i tend to reach for this palette a lot as well as a matter of fact today on my legs i have on bait cowboy which is this one right here at the bottom and that is actually on my um lids My makeup is very old now. I don't have it had it on for some hours. So yeah. And then pretty much anything powdery I will use as an eyeshadow to contour, like the cotton contour to contour or anything. I will use anything powdery. So this contour palette by um black radiance from medium to dark i use this to contour yes and i also use this for eyeshadow and this contour palette consists of the contour the one that you would use to scope and a highlighter and i will use all of these as eyeshadows as well so i pick this this palette up every day this is my everyday go to palette and this is my quick get ready when i only want to use one eyeshadow palette i will reach for this one here and this is my quick get ready and that's it um then also when i have time and take my time to get ready i will reach for this um beauty treats bronzer palette and i use these as um highlighters I'm not sure, like I said, if the color payoff is that good with the light that I'm using. As you can see, the shimmer. So more so, the colors at the bottom I use for highlighters. And the colors at the top, they are like, um, I will use those for eyeshadows. I'm trying to get like good. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But this is good. I got this one from Ross, I do believe, for like $4. And it is actually good. And they also have a um, concealer palette, too. I don't use this one anymore, but I will show y'all for somebody who has seen it or have it. These are like cream concealers. And I don't go for this one as much since I started using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. I use that over this one. Um, what's the next? I can say my favorite brushes will be these BH Cots matted ones with the gold tip and the black bottom. I love these brushes. They are so freaking soft and everything. And of course, the NYX brushes that have the pink tip and the white have a whole lot of those. Um, these brushes, I got these from um, Burks. I'm not sure the name of them or who they're by because the packaging, I threw that out a long time ago, but they are very pretty and they are very freaking soft. So, yeah. So, oh, lately I've been into this color eyeliner thing. So, let's see. I got these from Rite Aid. They wet and wow. And this is a pinkish purple. What is this called? Violet Revolution. And then this one is trimmed with lace. It's just a white um, liquid eyeliner. 
and of course wet and wow the mega liner in black and this is also wet and wow the mega liner in the color electric purple still in the packet And this one is also still in the packet, and this is called Voltage Blue, and this is also by um, Wet n Wild, you can see it inside. Yeah, I find myself reaching for those a whole lot just to play up my look to make it look more out there. Just give it a pop of color, nothing too much. And, oh, I almost forgot, y'all. MAC. Y'all know I had to talk about MAC. The red brick, that is my go-to too. As a matter of fact, I have red brick on in my crease area today. Just like a reddish-orange type color. You know, the color of brick. And saddle. I always use saddle on my brow bone. My brow bone. And this palette. This is the Burgundy Times 9 palette. And have like neutral burgundy toned eyeshadows in them. As you can see. And that is all, y'all. I do believe everything that I... We'll say is my favorite in June. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do this every month. So, I just want to come to y'all with my June favorites makeup haul. I guess you would call it. Um, That is all. If you have any questions about anything I have or where I got it from, just write down below and I can get you the information and or tell you exactly where I got it from, how much it costs and everything, or how I use it or anything. Any questions you have, make sure you comment down below. And don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe. If you ain't subscribed to my channel, like, what are you doing with your life? Hmm? What are you doing? Subscribe, y'all. Bye.